Hey, so in this video I'm going to tell you what is the problem and privacy advice of the uh, third-party cookies. I have a note-taking app that I made myself in PHP. You can make notes here. It's private. A locked-in state is saved in the cookies and here you can delete them. You click on the trash bin button and then confirm it with the red button. Now I created a local file on my system, HTML file, that has an iframe element it's an element that allows you to load some other website onto the current website. And I use my note-taking app as a source. So I have this iframe that's loading my page. And because I have third-party cookies enabled, which is enabled by default in browsers, it means that it, it's, it allowed my uh, static website to use the cookies I made on the, on the original URL of this note-taking app, which is boku.cz. So I have an iframe, and although this is my local file system, I can still be locked in. Now if I disable, uh, if I disable it, as you've seen on the previous tab, and I reload the page, um, I'm locked out. Although, I, even though I'm locked in in the original tab, I'm locked out here. Uh, if, I if I enable the party cookies again, it would uh, lock me in automatically again, because it would be able to read the cookies. So sorry, I have this overlay here, I'll explain it later. So if you have third-party cookies enabled, any other website with iframe can let you see your state. And so I have this node, another secure node, here in the iframe. And what we are going to do here is that we have an, uh, what is the attack of click checking that people with third-party cookies enabled are vulnerable from, is that uh, attackers can use the iframe, make it invisible, and draw some other content over it, and try to persuade people to click on this fictive content, but they actually are going to click on the iframe items, and because they are locked in on some website, they might let them do some actions on their behalf. So, if I, <coughs> yeah, you can see I have created this uh, ad like, you have won the iPhone, Claim your price in these two steps. And you click there and click there. And I position these buttons on these exact spots because if I drew, if I draw the iframe over it, it will be in the exact position of where you would need to click to delete your notes. Actually, it's where the bubble for the trash can is and the confirm button. So, and I have put the opacity here just to for explanatory reasons. So I have this website here, which is what I'm clicking on. Yet I don't see it because I hit it with CSS and you can see here down another node and if I click on this and click click on this sorry uh, I'm gonna put some opacity so you see what what is what would actually happen on the attacker website without the opacity you would think that you are uh, going for an iPhone you click there and click on some other thing and you would perform some action with your credentials on some other website because your cookies are enabling you to do it. So click, click, and let's go to the original tab and see the bottom, very bottom one note will be out if we reload the page because we deleted it inside the iframe which was invisible. So keep your third party cookies blocked.